Converting between pounds and pence should be fairly easy. Hopefully you know that one pound equals 100 pence. So pounds to pence multiplied by 100, pence to pounds divided by 100. The only issue might be where there's decimal points involved. So if we're converting this into pence, we need to multiply that by 100. So that's 15685 pence. If we're converting this 178 pence to pounds, we need to divide by 100. 178 is 178.0. When you're dividing by 100, you move the decimal point two positions to the left, one, two. So the decimal point will be between the one and the seven. So that is one pound 78. 18 pence is going to be 18.0 divided by 100. So again, we need to divide, um, we need to, sorry, if we're dividing, we're moving the decimal point to the left two positions. So it's going to go one, two in front of the one. So that's going to be 0 0.18 pounds. Three pence is, again, we're just dividing by 100. Three is 3.0. So the decimal point comes after the three. Feel free to put some zeros to the left so that it's easy to see exactly where the decimal point will fall and it will fall in front of this zero. So in pounds, that will be zero pounds and well, 0 0.03, 0 0.03 pounds, but we always read that as zero pounds, three pence, don't we? So let's look at some problems uh, involving rate of pay. So Claire, Claire works in a cafe. She earns six pounds per hour on weekdays, 8.20 at weekends. So last week she did eight hours on every weekday. So there are five weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So she, she did eight times five times six pounds and eight fives are 40. So that's 40 multiplied by six. Six times four is 24. Put in the zero that we just ignored. So during the week she earned 240 pounds and at the weekend she did six hours plus three hours. So that's nine hours at eight pounds 20. I didn't use a calculator for the previous calculation because I thought it was quite easy. Um, this one I would definitely use a calculator for though. So nine times 8.2 equals 73 pounds 80. So all you need to do is add the 73.80 and the 240 and we're gonna get the grand total of 313 pounds and 80p. Next question, we know a plumber charges 40 pounds for the call out and 28 pounds per hour. If he arrives at 11 and finishes at six, that means he's done seven hours. So seven lots of 28, that comes to a total of 196. But he'll also charge the call out fee. It doesn't matter how long he's staying, he, how long he's working for, he'll always charge 40 pounds, whether he's there for one minute or the whole day. Um, so we just need to add that onto the 196 and we get the grand total of 236 pounds.